This gigantic bug on my hand is called the Hercules beetle, and while it might look pretty scary, it's really a gentle giant, just as long as you're not another male beetle. Look at him, he, he can sense this a male. There's another male, oh, and he's like, he's out, wait yeah. a minute. The massive bug is part of a subfamily of scarab beetles called rhinoceros beetles, for obvious reasons. This one is named after the Greek god because of its ability to lift heavy objects, much to the chagrin of zookeepers. Literally, they will lift up with their backs, and she can lift a lid that's super heavy with a big rock on it, squeeze out and fly away. And I would find her in the kitchen or something. Only the males have the rhino-like horns. It looks like a dinosaur. It does. It's pretty cool that way. The expression of the horn, the length of the horn, is actually based on what food and how the food is digested when they're just babies. And then does it also determine all the little notches and stuff yeah. like that? Yeah, some are completely smooth and some are serrated. Across the six species of the Dynasties genus, the beetles use their horns for different things, from a display to attract a mate to a handy tool to move objects around. Some use them to fight. In uh, Thailand, they actually have a festival um, where they come in and what they do is they rope their pretty much their beetles down with like a little string so in case they decide to fly they, they've got them and they put them together in a ring and then they do the, like the flipping battles and stuff like that. Rarely does anything get killed but it's just it's comical to watch but to think that it's a, a big thing a really big thing. The Hercules beetle has another way to defend itself from predators and zookeepers. Actually, if they got mad at me, let's say, they wouldn't use their horn to get me. They would use this area here. See how he's closed that really fast? Oh, yeah. And that gives you a good pinch. And as ferocious as they look, the insects have quite a sweet tooth. They're really attracted to sugary stuff, so we give them rotten banana and, um, like, cantaloupe, sugar melon, that kind of thing. But as babies, they're basically eating all the icky stuff you can think of in the soil. And that's what makes the Hercules beetle and other large beetles so valuable they act as soil conditioners. If you go anywhere where they are, dig up the soil, it's just really rich and fertile, even if it's a really dry environment. And that's why they're here. They're not here because they're in danger. They're here for education purposes so people can actually see they do have some value. So you could be walking in the jungle in South America and one of these things could just land. Nail you, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they are not strong flyers because they are heavy. I bet they're a big hit at the zoo. They are. I think people just don't believe it when they actually see it in person. I guess you think it's a toy.